Okay guys, what we will be discussing today is about this helmet. This is the Scorpion XO500R. Okay, in the Philippines it's called XO Scorpion XO510R. So 500, 510 in some countries. So yeah, they're all the same. Okay, I've been using this helmet for the past three months, rain or shine. Okay, it's tested, long rides. Uh, the longest ride I have with this helmet is about 200 kilometers straight. And it's quite nice, the fitting is quite nice. Uh, it's not tiresome on your neck, your head. Okay, now let's go into some of the basic details of this helmet. Okay, it comes with a dual visor. It's an easy control here. Okay, you can see the drop. And okay. Yeah. Okay, it's easy to control, you can adjust the height that you want that it to stay put and as for the helmet you can adjust the tilting position okay this is close it's kind of soft okay the next um, yeah comes with different holding positions It comes with an anti-scratch visor, but if you will notice, yeah, there are scratches. Okay, it's because I accidentally dropped this helmet and yeah, it's got scratches now. And it also comes with a pin lock, which I've already installed. Okay, the pin lock is something that I really really like because it's it keeps the fog away okay so during my rainy rides the visor doesn't get foggy now when it comes to the ventilation you have one two three on the top and yeah this is quite easy to slide one two two positions and then for the chin it also comes with two positions first one it lets the air in to this vent upper vent on the inside so that's actually ventilating your visor and step number two it lets the air in straight coming into the helmet directly to your face so it keeps your face ventilated during rides and you can see the padding okay it's quite soft and makapansha it's thick okay it also comes with a quick release pull okay it's quick release and the padding inside is so comfortable okay you can see the inside okay so these are the basic features uh, no it doesn't come with this speaker i just put it on and this is my communicator it's also so easy to install the communicator or whatever Bluetooth device that you have uh, I have um, a video about the installation and unboxing of this communicator so what I like about this is it's low wind noise and one of the features is that it's called air air fit okay I'm just going to pull this up so that you can see the red button here this one if by pressing it, it pumps air it's like the Reebok 
rubber shoes way back in the 90s where you can pant to have more fit on your feet and yeah, this one also have the same so here you can hear the air going in and then they have this small steel button it releases the air so something okay so what i want to show you next is what's what i have inside okay what do we have inside here and one of the features is that it has this emergency pull in which we can just pull the side paddings out in case of an emergency so that it will be easy to remove the helmet okay and it also comes with this locking device which for in you can lock pushing it down locks this visor so it cannot be open it's in the, it's in the lock position and in position okay you might be wondering what is this for okay that one is for adjusting the height of the visor. All you need to do is have some flat objects, a screwdriver, and okay. Okay, now this is an uh, higher position but it's not that significant it's just a few centimeters or millimeters okay and then I usually Okay, that's just the purpose for that but I personally I like to put it in first position where it's in the lowest portion okay and when it comes to wind noise when riding this helmet is quite silent you don't get the whooshing sound of the wind while riding on high speeds or yeah you can get a little but it's tolerable okay so what I like about the basic features of this helmet uh, first it's a strong shell okay rain or shine after three months it's still shiny it looks like new but of course it comes with how you maintain it I usually wipe it. I keep this one nice and clean. Okay, I just use some polish and we'll have a video about how to clean this one. How do I keep this one nice and clean? Okay, and it comes with the pin lock as I mentioned a while ago. It's quite light. The weight is 1,600 uh, grams, plus minus 50 grams for the paddings or whatever. So after a long ride, it still it feels comfortable. I don't feel any headaches because of the weight of the helmet. Okay, what I and then one good feature is again. The air fit it keeps the paddings the helmet well fitted on my face and the comfort of its padding uh, 
you don't actually feel that you're being pressed or suffocated. Now what I don't like about this helmet is this one. This is an aftermarket. I have already replaced it. The original comes with the with a plastic one, a transparent post, which actually crack when I accidentally drop the helmet. Okay, it's well, it's plastic, so I replaced this one. And okay, now as you notice, I'm wearing eyeglasses. Let's try to fit this one. And let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Easy locking mechanism. Eyeglasses. Fits in well. So if you're wearing eyeglasses like me, it's not gonna be a problem. Okay, I can have the visor down, the sun visor down, the visor down, visor up, sun visor up, and let's pump in some air. Okay, I'm pumping air, and you can see it tightens on my cheeks. Okay. The airbags are fitted here so that it keeps the helmet nice and snug on your head, on your face. Okay, it doesn't move. And then a quick release of the air. And again, remove the helmet, then remove the eyeglass. Remove the helmet and yeah, magluno moko. Okay, everything is easy to install, easy to remove. And by the way, sizing of this helmet is kind of a smaller. My head size is only I think 58 or 59, but for this helmet, I'm already using the XXL 63. Maybe it's because of my head shape okay and it's just it fits just right i've tried the smaller one the xl or even the it's kind of tight here so i have to go for the xxl just fits perfectly well so in buying helmet always try put it on your head and try every helmet has their own sizing it well the same size like if I tried on the Kberg or the sec or the spider with XXL it's gonna fall off my head like for sec my size I think it's just large for Kberg well on one of those models of Kberg it's just medium another model it's large so always try but overall this is a good helmet okay the visor is also easy to remove okay you can see here I just have to pull it out to hear the click do the same on the other side click and Lightly pull and it's out, it's off. Okay, it's kind of sturdy. Helmet. And then let's reinstall it. Just make sure that all these fittings comes into the right place and reverse. We'll just reverse it. click and then do it on the other side. And here the click and we're done. Okay, 
removing cleaning this is easy it's low on wind noise it's waterproof okay remember i've tried this with, on the rainy days okay i just don't know what's the real purpose of this lap who wants to keep this visor locked down okay so what i don't like is this post the original post is kind of weak and one backflow that we have here in the philippines is that i cannot find any visor this outer visor replacement for sale so i have scratches which i wanted to replace this visor but i can't find one unlike those local brands that we have here in uh, evo spider sec it's so easy to find a replacement visor once this one gets, gets damaged but for this scorpion i cannot find one here in the philippines okay you might be wondering about the price this the price tag of this helmet when i bought it is 10,500 pesos at sec moto supply but they usually give discounts about 10 percent usually that's their usual discount and sometimes more if they have some promos so and the bottom of the lining you can see this is kind of a reflectorized want this to reflectorize for more visibility so overall i like this helmet okay it's light sturdy great paddings every all the linings are removable and washable it's easy to remove easy to reinstall and it's also easy to install if you have your communicator uh, they have a space for the speakers the headset speakers so everything is nice and clean okay thanks for watching and please like and subscribe to my channel so that i can so that you will be updated for my other and future reviews and other posts for helmets and other equipments that may come along if you have a request or any comments please don't forget to comment below thank you for watching see you